My name is Laura Noonan and I am a primary school teacher for Angus Council. I've been a teacher now for around seven years and I've worked in two different schools. A smaller school and currently I work in a larger school. I've come here to talk to you today about being a primary school teacher and why I've chosen this career and possibly why it might be a career that you would be interested in. So thinking back to when I was young, I was always making my little brother play schools. Of course, I wanted to be the teacher. I would get my words in from school and make my brother try and read the words. Um, I would ask him to do some writing, although this was more mark making at this point as he was only about four years old. And I would mark his writing using a lovely pen. I would write up what we were going to do on the chalkboard and practice my letters. So it's safe to say that teaching has always been on my mind. I did think of other careers such as working with the guide dogs and I do still have very much a love of dogs but decided that this wasn't actually the career for me. During secondary school I worked in a local shop at the weekends and this experience was really valuable to me. It taught me important skills such as time management, communication with others, patience, all of which I now realise are extremely important in the profession that I'm in. So it shows just how transferable skills can be and it's important to build up these skills in any which way you can. Towards the end of secondary school, I decided to visit a local primary school for a few afternoons a week just to find out if this was a career for me as I did change my mind um, through secondary school. I was really eager to get involved with the children, I liked finding out what they were learning about and from this I decided yeah this was the career that I wanted to go for. So I applied to university and very luckily was accepted to the four year course at Dundee University and undertook the four year course there. I look back fondly on my time at primary and secondary, I'm very lucky in that respect. I love dressing up in the home corner at primary school and playing with the dolls and I wonder if this has some something to do with the fact that I think play is so important for children. Um, learning through play is very valuable and I don't know if it's something to do with the fact that I always enjoyed learning through play when I was younger. At secondary school I would say I enjoyed numeracy and maths probably the most. Um, I think this is a subject area that people can shy away from but we need to remember how important it is in the workplace and how creative you can be with it as well and it is really important for being a primary school teacher. I would say literacy and numeracy are very important subject areas to make sure that you work hard in if you want to become a primary school teacher. So thinking about my current role then as a primary teacher, I would say the best aspects of the job are seeing lots of smiley faces looking at you every day. It's amazing to see children learn, watch them make progress as the year goes on. I feel such joy knowing that you have had a great impact on a child, that you've helped them along their learning journey. Um, and I think that's so important as a teacher to feel like that. I like that every day is different when you're a teacher. The time flies by each day, I have to say I'm never ever bored in this profession and I like that I can have creativity in the lessons that I design for my class so I can put my own spin on things as well. I would say that the skills that you need for the profession are teamwork. This is really important, it's important that you can work together with colleagues, that they are there to support each other um, and that you can work together with for example your stage partner, it's really really important I think that you can work well with someone else. I would say communication is essential um, and that's child to adult, adult to adult, you know it's important in the way that you respect each other and the way that you talk to each other. I think that patience and problem solving are both very important as well that you know not all children learn in the same way so we need to be able to adapt our ideas and think of something else because really we need to ensure that all children make progress. I think as a teacher as well you have to have a nurturing nature. You need to feel, the children need to feel safe and valued in your classroom. They want to come to school, they want to learn. 
Um, so I think this is really important. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, from working in a local shop, I developed lots of these skills early on. So you can develop skills needed for teaching in lots of other areas, lots of jobs that you might do before you actually take on this career. I think then before I go, the main things I would say is don't panic. If you don't know exactly what you want to do, don't worry about it. You might change your mind. You might decide this is what you want to do, but then no, that's not what you want to do. And I think it's important that you're happy at the end of the day with what you do. I very much am happy in my role. It was a job that I always thought I would do, but even if it's not something you're thinking about at the moment, maybe it's something that will crop up later for you that you decide that you want to go into the teaching profession. And I would say work hard. I would say try your best with subject areas at school, make sure that you do the best that you can because that will open up the most avenues for you for your career. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you found this helpful. Bye bye.